Why is the pizza in a frame? Uh, why is this created in the first place is what I want to know. Shut up, you don't think Ryan is famous? Cousin Ryan. You gotta... Hey, what's up, YouTube friends and family? It's Cousin Ryan. It's Ryder. And welcome to a very special holiday edition of Flashback Friday. I'm about to share something with you that is a window into my childhood that was the early 90s. Something like this could only take place in the 90s, and it is horrible in the best way possible. Could it be most heinous? Oh, it's most heinous, most bogus, most bodacious. Could it be more heinous than this onesie? Nothing's more heinous than that onesie. You look like a pink nightmare. I, I hope I do. All right, are you ready? I guess. Okay. If we go. Can you hear through that? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Wow, thanks, Leo. I was going to buy it myself. Like I told you, you'd like it. My sons, children, please gather around. Let's rock and roll. What am I watching? This good. is most heinous. I wish there wasn't more. It doesn't even like rhyme. Why is the pizza in a frame? Why is this created in the first place is what I want to know. Because it was the 90s. And the one thing that makes the original song iconic is that it rhymes and it flows well. Pizza with pepperoni. That, that sounds right. No, just, just listen. You hear that? The man is exasperated. <laughs> that didn't work. That most bodacious. This is like the longest song ever written. My sons, you are generous in spirit, heart, and soul. And I am grateful to you for the many gifts you have given me. But I fear that 
Perhaps we have lost sight of the true meaning of this special time of year. It is a time of sharing, of being with those who you love and thinking of those less fortunate than you. Remember, my sons, that your love for me is the greatest gift you could bestow and the only gift I will ever need. You're gonna need a lot more than love. I'm gonna tell you that much. That was... Awesome. <laughs> That was horrible. That was that was horrible. Okay. To be fair, Splinter did look like they all looked terrible. Well, they did, but Splinter they, specifically looked like a werewolf hamster. He yeah. did. He, he did. did. I and the other turtle suits. Yeah, because you don't even know about the next mutation, do you? The live action TV show. Yes, I do. Oh, do you? Oh, I do. Okay. All right. Well, that actually looked better than those. Oh come on! You gotta appreciate the time and place that came out, though. Yeah, but couldn't they at least use like better ones, like the ones from the the movies, like no. even the third movie? No, well that's true, huh? All right. At least they looked more realistic than having like arrowheads for faces. <laughs> the beak. Yeah, they had a uh, beak. They were birds. Yeah. No, those are awesome. Teenage Mutant was... Ninja Birds. That was fun. All right. Thank you guys for hanging out with us on this Flashback Friday holiday edition. We've got a few more weeks of holiday cheer. So stay tuned. And until next time, be excellent to each other. See ya. <laughs> was that not amazing? That was horrible. I hated it. Oh, uh, that was amazing. I there's th there's dude, more where that came from. I thought Splinter. You know, sir, it's Cousin Ryan on the Hollywood Boulevard. You know, sir, he's bigger than any superstar. All of us meet you some, some real to a bar. Some them sweeter than any chocolate bar. Boom! Hey.